for each one of you. Look around. I'd like to know if you see what I see. A beautiful congregation of God fearing people who is blessed by God. Do you know that you're blessed? Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. God wants to bless you more. He has greater blessings in store for each and every one of us. And all we have to do is ask. Ask in the spirit. As I look around, I see so many dedicated people to Calvary Baptist Church, dedicated to serving God. Some overworked, some underworked. <laughs> <laughs> I won't call names, they call names to get in trouble. But you have a deepness here that's worked all the time. Even Prasser, she wore the flowers. <laughs> you have a deacon there so dedicated to Calvary. He does something I doubt any of us do. He travels four hours to get here. Yes. And it costs him 75 to 80 dollars each trip. That's dedication. For serving God in church. Do you see what I see? God is good. And most people say all the time. But do you really realize what you're saying? You say all the time. God is not only good, but he's great. He's great. And I come and ask you to give God the praise. Come out for Bible study. You read the Bible and you think you understand it. But then you read it again, and you miss, see what you miss. We're studying the parables right now. And I know quite a few have read, if not all, read some of the parables. And we understand it one way, but actually there's another way to understand it. Come out to prayer service and give God praise. We have a wonderful choir here that sings. And that one song it sings says, praise go up and blessings come down. Amen. Now, we all fall short asking God for his spiritual blessings. We ask for material things instead of spiritual things. And I want you to know that we're blessed to have the clergy here that's here, Reverend Powell, Reverend Shepherd, Reverend Keeler, and our Pastor Rowe. We don't give credit, that's really do. At times we talk about one another, then we say we love one another. We carry one another down, but we fail to build up around. What do you not see? So many of the people that used to be is not here. They were gone in hospitals, nursing homes. Now if you think you're not blessed, you go there. And you'll see. God bless each and every one of us to come through that door this morning. We're able to walk, talk, see, argue, disagree. We're able to praise God. Now, I want you to know one thing. We have a wonderful pastor here. He's not here by chance. He was anointed by God. And he sent it here. He gave him a vision for his church. He gave him another vision, the family life center. 
Look around. Do you see what I see? The building is up, not finished. Yes. I see a anointed preacher behind me that God has blessed. He's not perfect. He's human. We're not perfect. We're human. He makes mistakes. He's one. Look around. Yeah. See the blessing. This man is anointed by God. Believers. Now I'll tell you something else. You look at the pastor. He's a tired man. All the members in here, at one time or another, have called upon the pastor. Yeah. Regardless of what day and night, what time. And he's there. John on the spot. Some of us that asked the pastor for things and the pastor didn't do it. And we get angry. But did you ever think the pastor has the answer to everybody? Everybody's asking. If four or five hundred people ask you to do such such things, you think you could do them every day? Something's going to be left behind. Not intentional. The pastor's human. Sometimes he don't think he is, but he is. <laughs> he needs rest. Physical, mental, and spiritual rest. And I ask you today to join me to pray for the pastor. Pray for Calvin. Pray for your sons. It's nice to ask the pastor or deacon to pray for you. But God wants to hear from you. Amen. Amen. So I ask someone to bring a chair to you and sit down here. Pastor Ashley. The congregation, please stand and lift up your voices to God. Give him praise, thanks for the many blessings he has done for each and every one of us and what he will do in the future. Lift up Calvary Baptist Church. Lift up those that's in the hospitals and nursing homes. Those, Lord, that's on the street corners. Bless each and every one of us. The eternal God, our heavenly Father, and whom we live, move, and have our being, who face again from us by our sins, and mercy we forget in the blind of our hearts. Father God, I thank thee, I praise you, and I love you. We praise you, Father God, for being the God that you are. A merciful, forgiving, patient, understanding God. A God who sees all, who knows all. All wise, most powerful God. The creed of heaven and earth, and the giver of all righteous blessings. We praise you, Lord, for you give life and death. And you the sustainer of life. Father God, we come call upon thee. But if we put our hope and our trust in thee, we ask you to lead us and guide us the way you would have us to be. We ask a special blessing from the Pastor Roe and Sister Roe. Take them down to your storehouse, Father God, and give them the wisdom and knowledge that they know how to lead this by your people. We ask a special Lord blessing of healing physically and mentally and spiritually, whole heart, body, mind, and soul. We come before thee, Father God, we, we ask you to strengthen us, yes, yes. and lighten our minds by the Holy Spirit, that yes. all things belong to you. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, that you have given us yes. life, health, and strength. Yes. You've given us so much, Lord, yes. more than we can ever use. We ask you, Lord, to lead us and guide us in all our steps in the Lord. Bless the choirs, Father God. Yes. Bless the deacon board. The deepness. All the auxiliaries, Father God. And the congregation. But Father God, we all love thee and you love us all the same. And let us realize, Lord, 
that none is greater than ever. We all need one another. But you created each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And God be with each and every one of you.
anchored in the Lord. Throughout all generations, before the mountain was born, or you brought forth the world and the earth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In whom we live, move, and have our being. Father God, we come before thee today and say thank you. Yeah, thank you. We praise your holy name. Yeah. That you have chosen these five to be ordained deacons of Calvary Baptist Church. Father God, we ask you to enlighten their minds by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, As they travel the path that you have set forth them. That they sway not to the left or to the right. Yeah. Nor turn back. But put their hands to the plow and go forward, that they go forward into an uncharted land that they will be facing in life. Give them the strength, Lord, the knowledge and the wisdom to be true to their vows, that they be faithful to Calvary Baptist Church, that they be faithful in service to thee as they accept this role as servants of Jesus Christ. Be thou with them, Lord, in time of trouble, be with them. In time of happiness, yeah. be with them. Yeah. That they not think highly of themselves and low of others, but they be meek and lowly, compassionate, <coughs> loving, forgiving, patient, and Christ-minded. And for always, put you first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.